Um, wasn't expecting to film a video today, but here we are because apparently Insomniac is bringing a festival to the East Coast. What? What's up guys, it's Vivi, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a super exciting video because today we got a lineup for this brand new festival that is happening in the Northeast, in specifically DC, called Project Glow. And we're all very, very excited about this because it is an Insomniac event. And Insomniac truly does not come to the East Coast, girl. Like, they have no love for us. They are very, like, West Coast, Best Coast, like... So this is very groundbreaking. We are very much living in the year 3000 this week with this announcement. So I'm super excited. My friends are very excited about this and we've been talking about it all morning. And in this video, I'm gonna go over like the basic info and ticketing and FAQ info that's on the website. And then I'm gonna run through the lineup and just do my usual lineup review and artist recommendations. So yeah. So looking at the website, Project Glow is April 30th and May 1st, which is very soon. This is kind of like a last minute announcement. So it's coming up, it's soon, and it's taking place at RFK Festival Grounds in Washington, DC. I'm not terribly familiar with DC. I've been a number of times, but I still like, I don't really know my way around per se um i just went to dc for new year's eve and new year's day i did echo stage um, i saw slander and elenium which was super fun and i really liked echo stage as a venue i don't know about this space these festival grounds but my roommate actually went to school in dc so i showed her it on the map and she said it's in one of the most dangerous parts of the city so just keep that in mind she said like don't be walking around that area afterwards don't be driving around aimlessly like buddy system stick together the whole nine yards so something to keep in mind if you're planning on going it is not in the safest neighborhood moving to the ticketing info on the website you can either do ga or vip ga grants you entry onto the grounds um pretty standard pass you can put down a ten dollar deposit to buy it or you can buy it for 99 dollars, which is so cheap for a festival but it is two days so keep that in mind and then vip you can also put down a ten dollar deposit but vip all the perks listed are like the typical vip perks um so you get your own entrance your own like section by the stages your own bars your own food and your own bathrooms and it's only 175 dollars to get vip so i don't know at that point i think i would just pay more and do vip honestly so those are the types of passes passes are going on sale this friday by the way they're not on sale yet let's just run through the faq so again the location is rfk festival grounds be careful in the area that's what my roommate said as someone who lived there for four years um ada accommodations parking info is coming soon um the hours are 1 p.m to 11 p.m so um, I was talking with Emma Kapotis about this earlier, and our guess is that there's going to be after parties at Echo Stage. But yeah, it's Saturday and Sunday, April 30th and May 1st, and it's rain or shine, so it is outdoors, so I'm interested to see how the weather turns out, because the Northeast in April is very rainy, so hopefully it doesn't, like, downpour. And festival policies, no re-entry, no refunds or exchanges, but there might be, like, some clause about covid and if it gets postponed but i don't know no sitting on the dance floor Ooh, no mo <laughs> no moshing well i think some of the artists on this lineup are gonna have something to say about that but no crowd surfing stage diving no unauthorized unlicensed vendors no unauthorized solicitations handbills sampling giveaways etc so pretty standard um and it's 18 plus so yeah and you have to be fully vaccinated or you have to have a negative covid test within 48 hours of the event i'm not going to go into accepted and prohibited items because that's pretty standard across most festivals they also have hotel packages on here which i looked at briefly but these are like they're for like whole experience packages like you get like a shuttle to and from the event you get like a pre-party 
you get expedited access to the after parties, like all this stuff. Um, I won't be doing that, but it's there if you are interested. That was all the basic info. Now we're gonna run through the lineup. So I will put up the graphic here and we will just get into it. This lineup is honestly very strong. I was expecting it to be good because when you have an entity like Insomniac behind a festival, you know the lineup is gonna be good, but I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I will admit so first is above and beyond you sold me already i haven't seen above and beyond in so long and i'm in pain about it so that was already a selling point for me if you don't know above and beyond you need to but i think everyone knows above and beyond <laughs> next is alan walker so super well known again artist very like edm he's a fun set i've seen alan walker a few times and it's fun and then we have Andin, which is more like chill ambient type house, very melodic. Babyweight, I wasn't familiar with, but I looked up Babyweight and it's it's house, but it has like really cool bass lines. I feel like it would be really fun to see live. Blossom is a bass house queen. She's on Night Bass. She's super, super talented. I love her music. She's great. Clooney is one of those artists. I feel like if you don't know his name, you definitely know the music. Very similar to Chris Lake, that kind of house vibe going on. Um, and then Diplo's on here, and so is Higher Ground. So that's like some sort of takeover. Gem and Tori is an Ophelia artist. They're a duo. They are queens. Again, this is more like ambient type house stuff, like very melodic. And then we have Grizz for all your funky bass literally always have the best time at a great set he's so much fun honey love is an amazing house artist insomniac records so this is again like a takeover insomniac records is one of the best house music labels out there in my opinion so super excited about that and then james hype and joelle corey are like the kind of artists again like clooney where if you don't know the names you know the music like joel corey has hundreds of millions of streams on spotify like you definitely know who he is and you definitely know who james hype is just go look up their music um we have john summit so he's tech house we have cruella hello like bet. cruella was one of my favorite artists when i first got into edm so the thought of seeing them live because I never got to, is a beautiful thing, and I'm so excited. And then we have Luttrell, I believe is how it's pronounced, um, has re releases on Anjuna, so that kind of vibe. Martin Garrix is on here. Guys, what what is going on? There are some big-ass artists on here. I'm shook to my core. So Martin is on here, Medusa is on here. If you've never seen Medusa, it's a very good set. I highly recommend. Um, MK back-to-back -back Sunny Federa. <laughs> Guys, what the fuck is happening? Definitely one of the sets I would be most looking forward to is that back to back. Noizu, amazing house artist, always a fun time. There's a really strong, this is a strong house lineup, I will say. Nostalgics is on here. We actually just did, for those of you who don't know, I help out on Rave Culture Cast, which is Emma Pocotis' podcast. All about dance music. There's artist interviews, industry people interviews all everything in between um and we just had nostalgics on and it was such a good interview and she is just a ray of sunshine like just the best energy so definitely go check that out if you have it maybe i'll leave a card up here chiron i believe that's how it's pronounced also releases on anjuna super ambient type vibes um she's super talented seven lions <sighs> Sold! Sold, sold, sold! It doesn't take much to please me with a lineup and this is like already such a winner. So we've got Seven Lions for all your melodic bass, bass, dubstep, psytrance, everything in between. Simply everything. Degala, I th I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced, is a very also well-known like EDM type artist. Um, you definitely know the music if you don't know the name. And then we have... <laughs> Slander, bitch! As soon as I fucking... Okay, little story time. When this festival first got announced on social media and everyone put it in the group chat and they were like, oh my god, Insomniac Festival in DC. And I was like, what? And I kind of like looked at some of the promo and I was like, um, yeah, I was like, I'll probably go. But like, I don't know if the lineup's gonna be that great. And then someone sent me a fucking screenshot of Slander like commenting on the announcement with like the eyes emoji. And I was like... I'm a simple woman. I see slander on the lineup. I attend the event. Um, then we have Vanessa, who's an amazing house artist. We recently had her on Gray Area. 
for an artist spotlight so maybe i will leave a card up for that as well but she is awesome releases on dirty bird very very talented overall just love her walker and royce again super amazing house artist really really fun to see live always have a good time seeing walker and royce west end is a really good house artist um maybe not as well known as he should be yet but he's very talented and we also had him on gray area so definitely check that out and then lastly we have weathan who can be it's electronic but sometimes it leans more pop sometimes it leans more alternative like a lot of different vibes going on but i am a fan of weathan and i don't think i've ever seen weathan live i don't believe i have so i would definitely go check that set out for sure so that's the whole lineup for project glow let me know what you guys think of it down below if you have any artists that you would recommend out of all of these but this is a super strong lineup kudos to all of the promoters behind this and i'm excited to see how it goes i am like loosely planning on going i kind of am like a last minute sender when it comes to events so i like won't have a pass until like a week before it kind of become my brand so yeah i'm excited about this one i'm like 95 percent sure i'll be there and if I am, I will, of course, be vlogging so you guys can see the experience and how it goes and maybe if you want to go next year, if they bring it back. But I'm just really grateful that we're finally getting Insomniac in the Northeast. Like, this is a really big deal for us. We've been asking and begging for years and we finally got something. So, and the lineup's amazing. And DC is very easy to get to for me coming from New York. Kind of a winner in my book already. So we will see how it goes. If you guys have any more questions, Leave them down below or anything else you want to see content wise related to this event let me know and i will see you guys in my next video peace